What's more important, price or control? A network switch connects devices like computers, printers, and wireless access points and allows them to communicate by exchanging data packets. With a managed switch, users can adjust each port on the switch to any setting, and manage, configure, and monitor the network in many ways. An unmanaged switch uses auto-negotiated ports to determine parameters for data packet transmission. These two types differ in various ways, including control, features, security, and cost. Because managed switches can be configured to any setting, they provide greater control over how data travels and who can access that data. But it does mean administrators need to understand network configurations, monitoring concepts, and how to apply that knowledge to switch configurations. Unmanaged switches are more plug and play, requiring no setup. But they're limited by lack of channel prioritization and troubleshooting. Managed switches usually include spanning tree protocol support, VLAN support, bandwidth rate limiting, port mirroring, and the ability to implement quality of service. Unmanaged switches are simpler with a fixed configuration, but do maintain a MAC address table. This helps reduce the number of transmitted broadcasts, which limits collisions, or two devices trying to send data at the exact same time within the domain. Unmanaged switches have very basic security, like lockable port covers to prevent physical tampering. Managed switches have more robust security features, like network monitoring control, 802.1x authentication, port security, and private VLANs. Given the minimalistic nature of unmanaged switches, they're considerably cheaper, ranging from $50 to $100, depending on port selection. But very few unmanaged switches are suitable for enterprises. Managed switches range from $1,500 to $2,800 per port. Unmanaged switches are usually enough for home offices or small businesses, where managed switches are best for enterprise-sized businesses with larger networks. Click on the link above or in the description below to learn about why managed switches are necessary for setting up and using a home VLAN. What kind of network switch does your organization use? What benefits or challenges have you experienced? Let us know in the comments and be sure to hit that like button too.